Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail Namov, co-founder of The Green Program. Each year we bring hundreds of students from around the world down to Costa Rica to learn about renewable energy and sustainability. And we give them exclusive access to renewable energy technology that they wouldn't otherwise get in the United States. So we're a young company uh, doing under a million in revenue. Started, believe it or not, in our dorm rooms when we realized that there was a lack of educational opportunities available in the field of clean tech. So we bootstrapped our entire business as, a, as an educational travel business with no outside investment, allowing us to keep most of the, or all of the ownership and bring us to the place we are today, which is working in partnership with 80 different universities, disrupting the study abroad industry and trying to change the model for renewable energy education. And we're on a path to raise our first round of capital to create expansion, but first we recognize that we need to really unlock our business model for that strong growth and predictable revenue creation as well as investor level returns. Can you speak to a little bit about sort of the basic elements of your customer acquisition? Are you are you doing paid online search and, and sort of a little bit of the economics of the business? Right. Interestingly enough, we haven't done any online uh, advertising. Everything that we do is through a refined marketing process, which allows the students that come on our programs to find out about our program from a trusted resource at their <coughs> university. So we actually partner with universities and convince them to send their students or even pay for their students, like some universities have done, to come and experience our program, receive academic credit, and come back and launch their green career here in the United States. What's, what's the margins? The margin right now is about 35%. Gross profit or net? That's gross. Selling into universities can be very frustrating. What's the sales cycle like? It's interesting. Uh, we started out as a seasonal business only running programs during the time when school was out, so when students had the time to go and attend these programs. However, the sales cycle has grown so much that now we sell year round. And we've been able to kind of grow our company and create a sales force that's working around the clock to sell to different universities around the United States. What's the experience in Costa Rica? <clears throat> Uh, so it's a 12-day uh, learning experience. We call it an educational adventure program because we take students outside of their daily learning of a lecture hall in the university and we give them that access to renewable energy facilities. We take them inside clean uh, wind turbines, geothermal plants, hydroelectric plants, and we allow them to learn more about it and interact with the industry experts to, to the point where when they come back, not only have they received academic credit, but now they, they're set up and they know kind of a little better which direction they want to go with their career. And the experience is 12 days all inclusive, and that's why students are so happy going there and coming back. How big is the market? If you could reach every student in the world and offer them the marketing materials behind this, how many do you think would eventually take a trip? Um, what's, the, what's the total market size for it? So right now we're running approximately 250 students per year. I know that we can easily double that in the next six months to 12 months. and to take the whole addressable market, um, we'd be looking at some very, very large numbers, in fact, numbers that we wouldn't be able to sustain on the operational end at the current time, which is why we'd be looking to raise capital to invest and expand in different verticals and also into different countries outside of Costa Rica. So ultimately, are you an experienced travel company? Are you an educational travel company? Or are you a green travel company? So we're an educational travel company that partners with the universities to deliver experiences to students that enable them to enhance their career in green. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the cost per student to go on the trip? The, co the cost that the students pay is twenty-four fifty for a 12-day all-inclusive experience. And a lot of times what we've really succeeded is by convincing universities to pay the, that cost on behalf of their student and give their student sort of a leg up in the industry so by the time they, they have to graduate, they actually have something on their resume and they have real-world experience in clean energy, increasing the graduation rates and the placement rates of their students at the universities. Could it be fundable by government loans eventually? Uh, government grants have been an avenue we've pursued in the past, and unfortunately, this brings up a good point, is that as a for-profit entity, we have difficulty partnering with, with grant givers and foundations to create scholarship funds for our students, which is a challenge we're currently working to surpass, overcome. Have you thought of expanding the program into the high school sort of outward bound type experience? <coughs> yeah, the high school market is very interesting. Right now, we only work with students 18 and over. But I think eventually we would be partnering up. I know Discovery does uh, something similar, uh, Discovery Tours, and we'd be looking into that market. But right now there's just so many universities out there and so many students at the university level who kind of have the background book, textbook knowledge, but lack that necessary experiential learning piece, which is what we're providing. Mm -hmm. Mikhail, why are you actually doing this? And who, who is doing this? My partners and I uh, were students at Rutgers University <coughs> and about three years ago, and we realized that we wanted to go into clean tech and we wanted to learn more about it. And we saw all of this in incredible investment going into clean technology, 
but very little being done to actually impact the human capital side and actually grow the economy from, from the people. So we thought, what better way to do that than to expose other students to clean energy where it's currently happening in a place like Costa Rica where over 80% of their energy consumption comes from renewable sources. Which is why we came conceive this idea of a 12 day program that would enable students to have that experience and bring it back to them. So how many people work at the company now? Right now we have just about 10 people and we're growing. So we're trying to keep it as a lean model, but at the same time we're trying to meet the demand for a sales force, an operational team that we're building in Costa Rica as we speak. We have over 200 students landing in Costa Rica this summer um, and you know, we just graduated college a few weeks ago, so it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting place to be. We're growing fast and uh, looking to get the word out as much as possible. So are you guys making money? Yes. We've been profitable since the first program we ran, which in fact we ran at cost with a very slight margin just to cover our, our investment expenses, but um, the program has been profitable. Now we're looking into unlocking that business model to make it exponential. So how does it actually get easier to sell? So the challenge of this business is that you're, you know how you don't repeat customers, eh? right. and every time it's a new sell to every single customer, right? And, and it's a new sell to every single school. So what's the strategy in order to make the next year's sales cost half as much? I think as in any other business, well in many other businesses, relationships behind the sales. So we created that refined marketing system where we reach out to deans and administrators at universities that are able to build a relationship with our program and trust us based on the feedback from other universities and deans and referrals from other universities that now allow this individual at this new school to say, you know what, I trust in this program, I see its value and I'm going to make sure that every one of my students at least knows about it. And that's how we break into the, to, to the new market and that's how we make the cost of acquisition. Last.